I got a package today. The Celestian Vintage 30. I'll spare you the boredom of me telling you what it is because you already know what it is if you found this video. But I'm here today to do something that I feel needs doing and not in a way that other people have done before. So last year, a video went up on the Cola Keller Studio YouTube channel, which is a fantastic channel for rock and metal mixing and recording. And in that video, Nolly, Adam Nolly Get Good, you know, the periphery guy, looks like Michael Vsauce. He made some uh, pretty interesting claims and uh, dispelled a couple of myths about the Vintage 30 speaker. And one of those myths was that there is a unique voicing which only exists in speakers made OEM for Mesa Boogie. Nolly says that such a voicing doesn't exist. Well, that's a pretty bold claim, a revelation, if I do say so myself. However, sadly, he failed to provide any evidence for his claims in the form of an audio recording. So, in a way that I don't think anybody has done on YouTube yet, I am going to test this myth. It's time once and for all to figure out whether or not there is a Mesa Boogie voiced Vintage 30. So let's get cracking. God fucking damn it, Sweetwater, you didn't send me any candy. Before I get started, I'm going to talk a little bit about the methodology I'm going to use for this test and also why the YouTube videos that currently exist of the UK speaker getting compared to the Chinese speaker are inaccurate and or inadequate. First things first, there is the impedance factor. At least a couple of the videos that I've seen on YouTube of the UK speaker getting compared to the Chinese speaker, the Chinese speaker has a 16 ohm impedance while the UK speaker has an 8 ohm impedance. If you know anything about guitar speakers, you'll probably know that 8 ohm versions of a speaker always sound darker than the 16 ohm versions, usually have a bit more mids too. This is because the higher you go in impedance with a speaker, the more efficient it becomes and therefore it is able to reproduce high frequencies more accurately. At least I think that's what it is, don't quote me on that. Second, we have to talk about speaker age. This is where I see the majority of the comparisons of these speakers on YouTube go wrong. The age variable is not isolated. Now, as you probably also know, speaker age affects the way the speaker sounds. To what degree, it varies, depending on what type of aging it is and how much the speaker was used and all that. But I feel that it is necessary for this video to not only eliminate the impedance factor, which I have done, because both of the speakers that you're going to be seeing in this video are 8 ohms, I have also taken care to eliminate the age factor. I've done this by purchasing a brand new Vintage 30 from Sweetwater, which is Chinese, and a brand new Mesa Vintage 30 from Mesa's website, which was made in the UK. I must stress that both of these speakers have not been used. They have not had any time to break in. They have not had any time to age or become floppier or accumulate dust or whatever else affects the age of the speakers. Ever since I got the UK one, which I've had for a few weeks now, I've kept it in its box. So you can be sure when you watch this video and hear the recordings that the age factor has been eliminated. So we've got the impedance factor eliminated, we've got the age factor eliminated. For the actual recording process, I'm going to be putting both speakers into my 2x12 cabinet. I'm going to be recording everything with an Audix i5, which is a superior alternative to the Shure SM57 that you see everybody and their mother using. And I'm not going to be moving the microphone. The only thing I'm going to be moving is the speaker. The recorded speaker is going to be in the same position for the Chinese and UK one. So I'm going to eliminate the microphone positioning variable too. Needless to say, I'm not going to change my amp settings. I'm not going to do any EQ wizardry afterwards to make things sound different to what they are coming right off the microphone. The only thing that is going to change is my guitar performance because I do not have a reliable setup for reamping. Now that the boring stuff is out of the way, it's time for me to actually do the exciting stuff and what you clicked on this video for. Sorry for wasting your time up to this point. It's worth noting that I do not expect these speakers to sound exactly the same, and you shouldn't either. There's always going to be some slight tolerance differences, even if the two speakers came right after each other off the assembly line, there still is bound to be at least some minor differences. Whether or not they're significant, we'll see. 
and uh, whether or not such differences, if they exist, are attributable to variance between speakers or actual voicing differences. We shall see. All right, let's do this shit. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. There is a sonic difference between the two, which I expected there to be regardless of whether or not there's an actual voicing shift, but is the sonic change that we hear attributable to an actual voicing shift? First of all, what exactly is the change? Well, it's all on the high end because the mid characters of the two speakers are basically identical. I don't hear a difference. But the Chinese speaker has a slightly lower resonant peak in the high end, which uh, makes it sound a bit more aggressive, and the Mesa one ends up being a bit smoother up there, if you will. But it's, it's not all that big of a difference. Maybe it can just be attributed to normal variance between speakers instead of an actual voicing shift. But something occurred to me while I was listening to the recordings. The glue blobs on the dust cap, here let me get another speaker to show you what I mean. You see the glue blobs right there, right by the dust cap? On the Mesa speaker, those are rotated slightly to the left of where they are on the Chinese speaker. So when I change the speaker, the glue blobs end up being in a slightly different place. Now since I was miking the edge of the dust cap, and another little bit of nolly wisdom to go off of here, the position of the glue blobs relative to where the microphone is actually can have an impact on the tone that is recorded. That difference that we're hearing might be attributable to the positioning of the glue blobs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mic the speaker dead center so that we eliminate the glue blob position variable and we'll see if the difference is increased or diminished. <laughs> Well, that was even more interesting. The pattern continues. 
The resonant peak and the highs on the Chinese speaker is still a little bit lower than on the UK speaker, but this time it actually works in the Chinese speaker's favor. Whereas during the last test, when I was miking the cap edge, that lower resonant peak might have contributed to the speaker sounding a little bit too aggressive up there. This time it actually makes the Chinese speaker sound a little bit fuller up there. So the UK speaker sounds slightly weaker by comparison. So what do we have to conclude here? If you ask me, the differences that we're hearing here are not attributable to any kind of voicing shift. We've eliminated the age variable, we've eliminated the impedance variable, we've eliminated the mic placement variable, we've eliminated all the other variables except for the playing, which doesn't really contribute all that much to the timbre of a distorted tone. So at the end of the day, I think the differences between these two speakers can just be chalked up to normal variation between speakers. It looks like Nolly was right. There is no significant voicing change between UK-made vintage 30s and Chinese-made vintage 30s. If you happen to get one that sounds terrible, that sounds nasty and fizzy, or whatever other colorful adjective guitar players come up with to describe bad-sounding guitar tones, then sucks to be you. If you found one that sounds amazing or is well-suited to whatever you're using it for, then great. Doesn't really matter if it's made in UK or if it's made in China. Where the speaker is made or who it is made for it does not affect how it sounds. So to end this video, I'm going to do a full mix where I swap out the Mesa speaker and the Chinese speaker, and we're going to see how it sounds in a full mix. I'm not going to say any more. Just thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment, like, share the video, and if you really like what you see, subscribe. Till next time, everybody. Diamond out.